back to the Svedka patio party. Try saying that a lot fast. This guy, Howard Grotz. Hello, sir. How's it going? I'm going to brag about you this to the viewers. The he is. See, even now you're recognized. Uh, you're the national, or you're the uh, state champ. And national champion. And the national champion. In what discipline? Uh, Cross-country mountain biking. Now, tell us what exactly is. I mean, we've seen downhill biking. We have enduro. What is cross-country? Cross-country is uh, basically doing laps on a course that goes both uphill and downhill, and you try to race for about an hour and a half, and uh, whoever crosses the line first is the winner. Now, do you typically recirculate and go over the course multiple times, or is this a one-time only? Yeah, generally we have laps here in Vail. It's a three-lap course, all above 9,000 feet. The champ. A lot of pressure. Um, we'll, we'll see. This is my fourth <laughs> time trying to defend the title. So you've been to the GoPro Mountain Games many years. Uh, you consider Vail, you know, very familiar with this area. What goes into winning these races? How do you condition yourself? Uh, first, you have to be used to how you, your body responds at altitude. You just have so many matches that you can burn out there, and you want to be able to attack at the right time and not blow up, basically. And your most recent victory to be the champion happened right down in Eagle. Yep, just, just a, a little ways down the road, they had the Colorado State Championships, and so that was cool to kind of represent the, the state and I love it. now great. come up here. And I want to mention, although you're not in this, tomorrow there is going to, or today actually, there's a mountain bike race down there. Yeah, the enduro, enduro. is a totally different discipline. I, I, it's very confusing. Yeah, it, that's where you try to go as fast as you can downhill, and I'm much better at going uphill. Well, you're a remarkable athlete, but you're also sponsored by Specialized, and as good as you are, you have to have great equipment. Let's pull your bike out here. I want to show this. I mean, what a beautiful piece of equipment this is. This isn't like most people's bikes. What sets this apart besides the weight? Um, yeah, the, the bike is basically meant to go as fast as possible. Um, so you have carbon fiber construction, a 1 by 11 drivetrain, so you just have the perfect gearing for going up hills. Um, and then the RS1 fork is pretty unique. SRAM makes it. It's inverted, and most of the forks you'll see are, are the opposite. Um, so it tracks over bumps a whole lot better. Uh, just kind of a, a great all-around bike for cross-country racing. I'm sure a lot of your friends have bike envy. I'm sure they do. I mean, this isn't a bike that you just go in and pull off the showroom floor, is it? Uh, no, it's it's a, a little over 10,000, so it's it's racing only. That's more than my truck. Yep. All right, let me do. I'm going to do what everybody does. Let me see this thing. It weighs nothing. It's like half the weight of my bike. Yeah, yeah. Well, Specialized takes care of you. What about nutrition? How does that come into play up here? Um, you have to, yeah, just make sure to fuel right, get enough sugars, carbs, electrolytes, that kind of thing. Uh, fortunately, it's only an hour and a half, so if you don't feel right, you're probably going to be able to make it up with a beer or something after the race. <laughs> It'll taste good then. Now, uh, mountain biking has a long tradition here in our community. We've had world championships here. What's next for you after this race? Um, well, the next big thing in two weeks, they announced the uh, Olympic team for the U.S., and so it's between me and one other guy, and we'll see if one of us is going to go down to Rio. What will decide that? It's been based on the first three World Cups of the year, and those are over. Now it's a discretionary selection. A committee is going to get in a room and meet and hopefully come up with the right decision. I'll be, I'll be pulling for you. I mean, if we could vote for you in any way, we would do so. Uh, also, I want to take you through the gear. I, historically, I, I have dad bod. I cannot pull off spandex. It just doesn't work for me. But uh, you not only have it, but I mean, you have, it, it helps in the wind resistance. And also, I mean, let's face it, you're in the saddle. Padding is key. Oh yeah, you, you definitely need a chamois out there. If you don't have that, you're going to be very sore for days to come. Um, and then just the sweat wicking, all of that, it's nice to have spandex. Sure. Where, do, where does uh, a victory here rank? I mean, you know, the Olympics, that's the big show, but where would the GoPro Mountain Games be against other competitions? This is one of the biggest prize money races we have in the U.S., and so winning here is pretty huge. It always draws plenty of competition. Who's your stiffest competition here? I'd say Todd Wells. He just came off winning marathon nationals in Georgia, and now he comes up to 9,000 feet. We'll see how the, the altitude treats him. And you reside in Durango. I do. So, so is Todd. Yes. Well, okay. So similar altitudes. Well, good luck. Congratulations. Uh, anything you want to give for advice to some of the other riders out there? Oh, try to enjoy it as much as possible. And uh, yeah, you're going to breathe hard no matter what. Great to see you. Hopefully we'll see you in the Olympics. All right. We'll see Howard out there on the mountain coming up tomorrow. But for us, we've got more. We're going to take it to Mark Sassy. He's up on the patio deck. They're mixing drinks with Svedka. We'll be right back.